Protesters are marching for lasting reform, but what happens once the protests stop? Our Elwin Lopez takes a look at what one group says is the important next step. Keep the pressure after all the protesters are gone and they're no longer crowding the streets of Centennial Park. Teos when millennial civil rights president says the protests are necessary, but only one part of creating meaningful change. Stay on your elected officials and see the change through. Protesters also gathered in downtown Atlanta July of 2016. It was a Black Lives Matter protest against police brutality after Devaris Kane Rogers was shot and killed as James Burns responded to a call that someone was breaking into cars near Monroe Drive. Burns said Rogers tried to run him over. An internal investigation found no evidence of that. Burns was fired and charged with murder but no trial date has been set. Fast forward to 2020, Wynn says the need to highlight injustice against black Americans continues and with it sustains unified action. Just as we commit to the popularized protest and the necessary protest during this time, we also have to commit to the information gathering so that everybody knows uh, how to really address these issues and we can move forward collectively. So once these protests are over, what's next? And we have to exercise the power that we have uh, through the vote and through the ballot. Now that's not going to be the, the complete all, right? Um, these are just actionable steps that we can take now. Voting a key factor. But also, he says part of the change needs to come from participation in the census. What that will ensure is that adequate funding is reaching the communities that need it the most. Wen also says that it's important to remember that change starts locally. He encourages everyone to take a look at your local elected officials and to find out what they stand for.